This is how you install lowering springs on your BMW. In this video, we'll work on a BMW E91 LCI 318i year 2010. However, this guide is eligible with a wide range of BMW models. These are the springs that we are going to install. They are made by Eibach and are 30-25mm lower than the stock ones. Heighten your car on your car lift. Alternatively, you can use a jack. Remove the wheels. If you don't know how to do this, watch our video on how to replace brake discs and brake pads before proceeding. Remove the bottom cover of your car. Disconnect the various cables and electronics. Release the ride height sensor. Spray some Brunox turbo spray on the bolts that you will be loosening. Grind off the bolts with a wire brush. Loosen the sway bar. Release the lower control arm. Release the tie rod end. And now lower your car. Unbolt the strut bars. Remove the strut bars. Unbolt the strut at the strut tower. Release the lower control arm from the front axle support. Use a special tool to widen the strut socket. Pull the strut out of its socket. It is very important that you leave the spring on the strut for now. Use a spring compressor tool to release tension from the spring. This is crucial for your safety. Release the top bolt. Loosen the spring compressor tool. Dismount the old spring. Here you see the old spring alongside the new one. Take note of the order of disassembly so you can remember the order of the different parts when you have to assemble the strut again. Put the new spring into the compressor tool. Compress the spring and mount the top onto it. Tighten the bolt. When the top bolt is securely locked on the strut, release the compression tool and remove the strut from the tool. Degrease the strut and strut seat with a cloth. Now assemble everything in reverse order. First slide the strut into its socket and tilt it into its place. Then bolt on the tie rod. Then bolt on the lower control arm. Then the strut tower. The sway bar. Now 
Now tighten the components with a torque wrench. the cables and electronics. Mount the strut tower bar and tighten its bolts as shown on the screen. With the front springs installed, it's time to go to the rear end of the car. Start out by spraying the bolts with rust remover and brush them off with a wire brush. Remove the bolt connecting the spring to the swing arm. Lift up the swing arm with a gearbox jack. Loosen the bolt connecting the rear swing arm to the spindle. Remove the rubber at the upper spring socket. Take your new spring and put on the rubber like this. Insert the bolt holding the swing arm in place. Insert the bolt at the bottom of the swing arm. Tighten the bolts. The wheel hubs on this car were dirty, so we cleaned them with a wheel hub cleaner mounted on an air wrench. Put some copper ease onto the wheel hub. Mount the wheels. And here you see the final result. Remember to align the wheels immediately after you've installed the lowering springs. This is because the change in the wheel geometry will result in incorrect tire wear and grip. The springs will settle into place and the car will get a bit lower as you drive off the lift.